Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Cyberlink Power Director and how to remove a motion tracker. So there are several um, usage of motion tracker, especially it is when you need to blurry a moving object. And the thing is, it, it, it there are actually two problems. I mean, when you have an existing project, here you have a new project in the Power Director, and when you have an existing project and you add tracker and tracker and tracker, you have a full list of trackers, and then it's too much maybe, and you want to delete uh, them or some of them to uh, which are not needed to get a better overview. And the other, a uh, rather annoying thing is because it's, uh, I think it's definitely an error, it's a bug in the Power Director when you have a new project like this and you drag in an old video, I mean an old video which um, you have already been using for uh, not a project in the power director when you click on the video and you go to tools and you go to motion tracker then it will show the motion trackers of your last project I think this is definitely a bug because this is project data project settings and has nothing to do with the imported video that's a little bit uh, annoying and yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it can be a good thing, it can be a good thing, it, but it does not have to be a good thing. So, for me, it's project data. Uh, some people may think it's not project data. It ha can have some benefits, but in my case, I didn't want that. So, anyway, I wanted to get rid of some of the tracker, and the, when you see them, when you, like, you have now... Uh, nine trackers and for different areas and you actually don't need some of them I mean you can uh, disable some of them like here uh, so you can disable them or at least you can try sometimes can be a little bit stubborn yeah so anyway you can disable but I don't see anything how to delete it's a little bit strange so what can you do um, we have so we have actually um, different sources of information how to do that I mean usually it should be intuitive I would expect this from a software where you which you pay which is not free but uh, yeah anyway we, we, at least we have a help and I have googled or <laughs> searched for delete tracker and yeah here is some information about how to add a tracker how to hide a tracker let's say yeah here you, you can see when you click on this you can hide a tracker when you uncheck and here it says when you click on this cross or this X you can delete it from this project do you see the X I don't need the X maybe it's somewhere hidden I don't know I don't see it I really have some problems with that so I checked with the support and they said I have to uncheck uh, the dialog box beside the tracker and then I can right click and delete so I I'm trying this so let's say we have this and I uncheck this I right click on that and remove the tracker so good so far uh, the instructions seem to work but I have tried it also with an uh, activated tracker so and here you can do the right click and you can 
remove it uh, also so you don't have to disable it you can right away click uh, right click and then remove maybe you can even uh, no you can't you can't select all of them uh, looks like you it's not possible you have to remove every single one of them but at least you can right click here you cannot right click here you cannot do anything here you have to right click here in this area and then remove tracker and as you have seen you can also copy a tracker from here if you have an existing tracker and you want to add a similar one maybe use the same tracker but blur another area with the same tracker you can copy this and it will make a new one with the all with the existing uh, tracker information from the uh, source so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time